Boy, when that self-priming pump gets a fucking partial clog, she lets me know. Huh. Doesn't look like it cleared itself up, though. And, yeah, we got a small leak here. I actually have it blowing through because we have a partial clog. So, right now, I'm super purging the heat out of the system because I'm using hot, soapy water to break up sludge in here. I gotta quit running water. I think it'd be fun to do some baseline benchmarks. I'm actually trying to drop this down to a coolest temperature, room temperature as ever, because we're gonna run some benchmarks. And I got marble mystery oil, we're gonna try that. Here in a few weeks, I'm gonna be changing uh, oil on my Saturn. We're gonna run that through a coffee filter and see how well we can cool my PC off motor oil. For fun. And by the way, um, so uh, one of the reasons why I'm having issues here is like, look, we got copper, steel, and I think copper. I probably could uh, get rid of some of my corrosion issues if I got rid of that steel tube, but yeah, you, you don't mix what can you don't mix water with um, different metals. That's how you make a battery that corrodes itself. By the way, you might be thinking, why marble mister oil? Because it's really thin and there's a kind of a detergent oil, so. Also, that fan is sitting like that because I knocked into it messing around with this PC. And I need my damn battery charger back. And I need my amp that works so I can put it back on my wall. The amp on the wall didn't break. The sundown still is reliable as ever. The, uh, my damn surge amp. Got my replacement and it's already doing weird shit. Alright, we're on water. It's been there for a while and the power even went out and back on and whatnot. And we're sit resting it like we got usually bouncing between 24, 25, maybe hitting 26. I just wrote 24 and 25 for my rest on water. Let's run a benchmark and see what happens. Uh, bench. All right, that brought us up the uh, 42 and 28. Oh, because the way the radiators are chained together. I'm, I'm not even going to write down the benchmark. That was, eh, we'll, we'll just compare that. But that, that just went down too quickly. I'm not overclocking because I want to keep it consistent across everything I try. So uh, we're going to, uh, we're going we're gonna to slam all my cores now. We'll leave one core free so the system can breathe. But yeah, we're, we're going to slam her. And we're going to let it do that for several minutes before I actually write these down. Dickhead. All right, so we've uh, four, uh, bounced between 44 and 45, staying at 42 down there. So I'm writing 44 and 42. But we got one more thing I want to try, and that's Big Fan. Will Big Fan make a difference? Because that's that cools uh, between the other CPU. It's probably going to make these two numbers get closer. Then we'll switch to oil. Looks like with the water running this cool, it isn't really making a difference. Um, these numbers look the same. I let it run for about two minutes, which isn't a whole lot considering the volume of water I have, but that thing makes a difference when the water is like, when, I, when I'm, my temperatures are pushing like, close to 80 C. That thing actually makes a pretty big impact. All right, let's let's give her a gear. Hmm. Ain't that a problem. I don't know if I'm going to get both these to go through at the same time without actually literally squishing them. Uh, I guess I could take my scissors and cut a... Okay. All right, let's find out if uh, the system ends up like taking in air because it sucks up so much from the container. If we get any kind of weird foaming or anything like that, I'm going to turn the system on preemptively because it will not overheat uh, before booting without any liquid in it. All right, the initial priming is uh, being difficult with the way I have the pump set up. It actually stopped flowing at one point, and it didn't... Yep, yep, it stopped again.
Or maybe not. Maybe it's just moving slow. Alright, we're going to try actually reversing the pump direction to get it primed. That actually does appear to be working as well. I think the self-priming pump was having trouble self-priming, pushing this oil because <laughs> of the extra pressure needed with air in it. Actually, if I had heated the oil up ahead of time, it probably would have made it easier. I, I spent about half an hour messing around with this thing. I could not get this thing to hold a prime while running in the safe method, but if this thing were to spray oil all over my equipment, everything would continue working as normal, so... I guess I'll let it have a positive pressure instead of negative pressure on the lines. Alright, looks like we're idling at 30 on the one core. Got this one down to 28. Uh, 30. Okay, we'll call that 30. Well, you're jumping around a bit. I'm going to call you 35 or 33? 35? I will call it 34. So, uh, 30 and 34. Now, the only thing I might be going against it, I think it's actually gotten hotter in here since I started. Wow, thank you. That's what it's like to have digital zoom instead of analog. 76, I, th I think it's a few degrees hotter in the room than it was before, but let's see what happens under a load. We're going to run a benchmark, then we'll do the uh, straight-up test. Oh no, we have one of the cores heading over by the tool, the utility. Yeah, no, nah, this isn't as ineffective. These temperatures are definitely higher than they were in water. Oh, let's do it under 100% load and see where we get her. Yeah. Mmm. I don't think I'm going to be overclocking with oil cooling. But I'm probably still going to run this for a while because this will be basically maintenance free. If the temperature stay good, I'm going to go get a shower and see what happens. All right, we got 65 and 66. Going to plug this fan in, see if it makes a difference. Yeah, I plug it in as I was writing down. It takes a long time to spin up. So this thing made no difference when it was running water with no overclock benchmarking, but 63.59, yeah, that's, that's definitely a worth writing down difference. And you can definitely tell which CPU is getting hit with it first. So yeah, this thing does actually do something. And the difference looks more like that when you have it uh, running water with an overclock. All in all, kind of a terrible idea. But, if I'm not going to overclock, this is maintenance free. I would have air coolers, I just cannot afford to get some. So this is an improvision. If you don't like it, you can suck my dick. Alright, just for giggling shits, I turn that, that fan off just to see, does it bump back up? Do you bump back up? How quick do you bump? Do you bump? Do you bump? Bump? Also, I'm sure I'm asking for trouble, but this episode does not end here. We'll be back with motor oil in probably a couple weeks. I want to know. We gotta see. Can you diesel run the motor oil? Probably. But can the computer run the motor oil? Yep, without that big boy running, we're going up higher in temperature. Imagine it's going to be an instant temperature drop that's massive as soon as I stop doing it. Because it's just not pulling the heat away very quickly. Not as much as I thought it would be, I gotta say. I gotta say, this is... What's our heat like up here? Ain't really that hot. We're just, we're not moving, we're not really moving around heat a whole lot.